This is Apple Jack for very beginners. Okay, remember, when you're a very beginner, we've got to get your violin all the way up on your shoulder, no gap. Push it all the way up and test it by putting your left hand on your right shoulder. If it's nice and tall, you're good to go. You can put your right hand here on the side of the violin on the corner. Sorry, your left hand goes on the side, your right hand on the corner, thumb on the corner. Make sure it's on the corner of the fingerboard. And we need the D string, which is the third string over. And we're gonna hit that four times like this. One, two, three, four. Now I want you to reach to the G string, which is the big string, reach all the way across and hit it twice. One, two, then back to the D twice. One, two. So that was four Ds, two Gs, and two Ds. So let's try it, here we go. Ready, go. D, two, three, four, G twice, back to D twice. That's the first section. You wanna keep practicing that until you can remember it. Say it to play it. What that means is you want to say the letter as you play it. D, 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 G, G, D, D. It's gonna help you remember the chords and the notes that you're playing. Do you notice my elbow is away from my body? This is very important. Don't let your violin start to sag. Okay, second section. Four Gs, that's the big string that you have to reach for. One, two, three, four, and four Ds. One, two, three, four. Okay, after that section, we go back and play the first section again. Four Ds, two Gs, two Ds. Here we go. D, two, three, four, now two Gs. Back to D. For the ending, we're gonna play two Gs and then we're gonna skip over to the A string twice and then four Ds. So let's do two Gs, G, G, skip to the A, and then the D four times. One, two, three, four. If this is a little bit tricky, you can go ahead and write out a paper that has all the letters on it and point as we go along, especially if your kiddo is five or six years old, they may want a paper to follow along. You wanna make sure that you're pointing along and saying the letters, and then you take the paper away after a few times. If you're a little bit older, you can follow the music and that'll help as well. So just remember, keep playing whatever chord until you see a new one. Okay, let's try it all together. We're gonna get ready on the D. One, two, ready, four Ds. One, two, three, four, two Gs. Back to Ds. Now, four Gs. One, two, three, four, four Ds. One, two, three, four. Four more Ds like the beginning. Two, three, four. Remember, two Gs and then back to D. Now the ending is two G's. Now watch it jump over to A. D. Two, three, four. So if we're playing it with the song, we're gonna go play a D for me, then two G for two back to D. Play a G four times, me and all D. Two, three, again, play a D four times, Go to G, back to D, then two G's, then two A's, two D's, and two more D's. So with the song, it'll go, play a song for me, Apple Jack, Apple Jack, play a song for me, and I'll sing, play a song for me. Jack, Apple Jack, play a song, let your banjo ring, two, three, four. If that's a little bit tricky, what I want you to do is instead of plucking the strings, just say the name so you can clap along and go, play a D, 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 G, G, D, second part, D, 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 Right? And so just say them. I said a funny, funny chord, but say the chords along with me instead of plucking them at first, and that will help a ton. Okay, good luck.